Hi everyone, Jonathan with Audio Advice. Welcome to our weekly live stream, our weekly high note show on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in today. We are joined by Audio Advice founder, Leon Shaw. Thanks for joining us today, Leon. Happy to be here. Awesome, well today we are talking about all things home theater. So we're really excited to dive in, talk about home theater, some changes in home theater, and really give you guys some great recommendations if you're looking to invest in a new home theater system. So Leon, I know you recently updated your home theater. Tell us a little bit more about why you guys did that. So we did, we did not have a Dolby Atmos system before, we decided to upgrade to a much bigger system with Dolby Atmos, and it is just so enveloping. You know, and my wife and I are in this new theater, literally every single night we're home for about two hours. Wow. At least. We're just having a blast, it's a ton of fun. That's awesome. So uh, tell us a little bit more about kind of the history of surround sound and a little bit more about Dolby Atmos and what it is. Sure. So surround sound started out actually, we first had stereo. The first show to actually be in stereo was Miami Vice. I remember it to this day. It was really cool listening to that in yeah, stereo. Absolutely. Then we had Dolby Pro Logic, which basically yeah. tried to take that, uh, give you a center channel track so you could understand the dialogue. Then we had Dolby Digital. Dolby Digital basically gave us distinct soundtracks for left, center, right, and the, the two rear speakers or surround speakers, um, which had been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Now we've got Dolby Atmos, which is what's called an object-based surround. And what that gives you is before with just Dolby Digital, the engineer had sliders. So they could say, okay. give me left to right, give me front right. to back. That was it. With Dolby Atmos, imagine this is a cube. The, the engineers can now say, I want this sound to be here, and then here, and then here. Fully three-dimensional. So when something flies over your head and flies around in circles, it is incredible. We were watching uh, Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children the other night. <laughs> Kim thought there was a bird in the room. Oh, wow. It was just so dramatic. So you hear the noise yeah. of the bird flying as they're flying around, and you kind of can envision where they're coming from. Yes. That's it's awesome. so cool. That's awesome. So cool. And when did these recent developments in Dolby Atmos take place, and when did they occur? Um, about three years ago is when it first okay. started coming out, Dolby Atmos happened, and now almost every major movie that comes out on Blu-ray is on Dolby Atmos, and most streaming services have Dolby Atmos as well. So the content is now readily available, and it's really a far more immersive experience than maybe you've had in traditional surround. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes. So if you haven't yes. heard it, it's awesome. Check it out. It's really cool. How is Dolby Atmos different than traditional sound in terms of how it's set up and configured? Yes. Good question. So uh, it used to be we put our surround speakers kind of up in the air to kind of give us this effect of stuff over mm -hmm. our heads. Now we actually want our side surround speakers to be more at ear level, so those need to be put down lower. And we're going to have two or four in ceiling speakers, or there's a new breed of speakers that sit on top of your the front topper speakers, speakers the toppers called. that fire out and bounce off the ceiling. So that what that gives you is a much more immersive effect because you've got the sound hitting you from the front, the sides, and then over your head. Right. And so if you do four ammo speakers, you'll have kind of two in front and then two behind you. Then the ultimate would be another pair of rear speakers in the back, also kind of at your level to give you that fully immersive effect. So if you had seven speakers, <clears throat> and then you had either one or two subwoofers, and then you had the four speakers from above. That's like That's amazing. the Nirvana experience. That's what I've got. Right. Plus awesome. five subwoofers. So. Plus five subwoofers, <laughs> so, so taking it even to that, that next yeah. level. So that's great. Obviously, it's, it's the next big revolution in audio sound, and it's really making a big difference. And it's great that so much content is now readily available in Dolby Atmos. So if I have an existing home theater system, what do I need if I want to upgrade to Dolby Atmos? Your existing Blu-ray player or streamer, if it's an Apple TV or Roku, is, is going to be fine. You will need a, a, a surround sound receiver that is capable of decoding Dolby Atmos. Okay, so you need that. And most of your speakers will work fine. You'll just need the additional either the top firing speakers mm -hmm. or the ceiling speakers. Uh, some people already have speakers in their ceiling that were used for surround to try to get that over an effect. You could actually turn those into your Atmos speakers and just add a pair of lower side speakers, maybe sitting on a pair of bookshelf stands or in the wall, and you're, you're good to go. Got it. So it's, it's not that big a change, mostly the receiver and a, a few extra speakers. And how it, how it uh, decodes the content. So if I have an existing system, um, I, can, I make sure that my, my receiver is capable but yes. then I can just add that, like you said, these toppers to my existing speakers, and that'll help create that Dolby Atmos experience. Yes. Or if I have in-ceiling speakers, I could use those and just pick up a new pair of speakers. Uh, speakers for your side surround channels. Got it. So I could yes. do either option if I have an existing right. system. Or go full-blown and put in-ceiling speakers. You know, it really depends upon your budget. But on lots budget. of options is how you could upgrade to it. Got it. What are several options uh, if I'm looking to build out a new Dolby Atmos system if I'm on a budget or if I'm looking to build as you did your dream system that you've always been looking forward to? 
Yeah, we've got on our home theater page, uh, kind of best home theater systems. We actually have one that's under eighteen hundred dollars wow. for it. It's a, it's a Dolby Atmos receiver, and it's a kind of a package. It's a, I think a Denon receiver and a Focal uh, Cibivo, the Cibivo Dolby package. Atmos, which has the upward firing system. Right. That's is a, a great way to start to get started. And you know, we've got others on there in the five thousand dollar range, the fifteen thousand dollar range. Really, you can take it as far as you want to. Right. You know, with that. If you're but able to make it, that investment, you don't have to start in the tens of thousands of right. dollars to get Dolby Atmos. Which is start, great, yeah. so you can get started, Correct. like you said, building on top of what you already have or an entry level system that'll still give you that experience that you're looking for with Dolby Atmos. Exactly. And then yeah. all the way up to your dream system that you've obviously yep. recently added, which you guys are enjoying, which is great. So that's just a little bit today about what we wanted to cover with what it is, how it's different, how you can get started if you're looking to create your new system or upgrade your existing system. So Leon, thanks for joining us. That's sure. a lot of great information. As Leon mentioned, we have a great home theater system page that we'll link to it's got a lot of great information, again, recapping what we've shared in terms of what Dolby Atmos is, and then a lot of great recommendations on different type of systems at different budget levels that you guys can take a look at. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. We have full-time uh, phone support and chat Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 7 Eastern Time, and Saturday, 10 to 6. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And a quick reminder, it's March, as you know, and, and we're in North Carolina, so college basketball is huge. And we're right in the middle of March Madness. Today is actually Duke and Carolina play for the big third game, time. Big game, uh, In Charlotte, a lot of people are looking forward to. So our monthly giveaway this month is perfect for a March Madness uh, system. We're giving away a 55-inch Sony TV soundbar and subwoofer. So it's a great package that you'll have just in time for college basketball tournament getting started here next week. Uh, and then you'll be able to enjoy it all spring and summer long. So we're giving that away. Make sure you enter the giveaway on our website. Uh, check us out on Facebook. You can also enter on Instagram to get an additional entry. So that's going to be a great giveaway that we're going to be announcing at the end of the month. So thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you again next Friday, same time. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend.